There are a number of insects that people will find in their backyard, three of them in particular that people may not know that much about but probably will encounter are antlions, paper wasps, and ants, carpenter ants in particular. So antlions, people probably have seen them in their yard even if they don't know what an antlion is. So antlion pits actually are in sandy areas, usually covered over, very dry areas, and they look just like a conical pit, as if somebody stuck their finger in the sand and made a little well. But at the bottom of every single one of those pits is a little juvenile insect called an antlion because it's sitting at the bottom of the pit waiting for ants or other small insects to fall down, and that's what they eat. When they grow up into adults, they look a lot like dragonflies. They're quite beautiful, they have big wings, but they're not as long-lived as dragonflies. So most people have never actually seen the adults, or if they did, they might not have known what it is. Paper wasps are often found around places where people live. These wasp nests are made of fibers, wood fibers usually, from the wasps going out and collecting bits of wood. They mix it with their saliva and they make paper just the way we might make paper out of some sort of fibrous material and then flatten it out. Well, this is actually what the wasps do to make these beautiful structures. Paper wasps are one of the major groups of insects that's responsible for controlling pests. So if you have a garden, you might be concerned about things eating your tomatoes or your parsley or anything that might be out there. Paper wasps are going out and primarily collecting caterpillars to feed to their babies. There have been some estimates that these are some of the primary predators that help control pests in agricultural systems. So the Florida carpenter ant is one of the largest ants that we have around here. It's big and red and black, and they have different sized individuals. So if you're looking at a line of these ants, you'll see that some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, and some of the big ones have these big blocky heads. Those are the soldiers. The term carpenter refers to the fact that some of these ants not this particular species, but some of these ants will actually excavate cavities in wood. And so people get concerned, of course, because you don't want ants hollowing out the wooden beams that support your home. Now, these are not termites. They're not going to be that destructive to the wooden structures, but they can live in holes or cavities that already exist in your home. So they're a little bit misunderstood. People think about them as being really problematic for homes, but they're not destructive. They're just alerting us often to the fact that we might have some places in our homes that need some attention. For more information on insects, visit Solutions for Your Life.